life sometimes gets in the way and we can't be here forever. So we need to say thank you to Hans in the appropriate way. Um, I had the fortune, give me two seconds, I had the fortune of seeing Hans when he came to Chesterbrook for the first time. He was as pale then as he is now. Um, he was just a little shorter. He was as tanked as he is now. The kid was sculpted as a seven-year-old. Um, we didn't know what we had. And I think, you know, we have a lot of eight and unders here. And this, this, this I say to all of you, not just the kids. We've got a lot of eight and unders here. And a lot of people are going to put in 10, 12, 14 years here swimming and make some indelible marks. Um, there's a select few that decide within themselves that that's not really enough. Um, and they stay on for a bit longer. And you never really know who they are. Um, I'm sure there's a couple here. Uh, and then there's a even fewer number that put a name on this place that touches everybody here that people remember for years and years and years that embody everything that we have tried to build here for the last couple decades. Um, I have been no more proud of any kid that's walked into these fences, um, both as a seven-year-old, as an 18-year-old, and as a coach. Um, I am eternally grateful for everything that Hans has given to this place. Um, it has been a joy. I am prideful. Um, and I am thankful. So thank you, Hans.